Hey guys and welcome to Arctech. In this video, we will solve output question based on data file handling. So in this question, we are given a program and we have to find the output based on this given program. In this program, we have two parts. The first one is a class and second one is the main function. In the class, the name of the class is clients and then we have two variables inside this class. The first one is integer variable whose name is C number and then we have a character array whose name is name and the size of this array is 20. Now in the public section we have two functions whose name is in and out. Now in the main we have the first statement as declaration of a stream whose name is cf. So this cf stream will be used for opening the file. Then we are opening the file using the open function and the name of this file is clients.dat and we are opening the file in input mode. Then we are creating an object of this clients class. Why? Because in this program we are reading the objects from this file. Therefore, to read the objects, we have to create the object first. Hence, this C object will be used for reading the objects from the file. Then in the next line, we are reading the object from the file. So in this statement, the first object of the file is read. And in the same way, the second object is read and then the third object is read. Then we are doing some calculation based upon this 10g function and this size of C size of function. Then we are giving the output and then we are closing the file. So to solve this question, you should know some basics. So let us see about the basics first. The first thing is when we open a file in, uh, in C++, the file pointer is used. So file pointer is always used when we open a file in C++. Now a file pointer is different from a normal pointer. A normal pointer is used for storing the address. But this pointer is having a different function. We'll see about this in the later slides. Then we have two types of file pointers. The first one is a get pointer and second one is a put pointer. Now whenever a file is opened in input mode, we have a get pointer. And when the file is opened in output mode, we have a put pointer. Get, get is for getting the input and put is for putting the output. Then a file pointer is like a blinking text cursor of a text file. We know that in a text file, we have a cursor. So in the same way, a file pointer is like cursor. So what is the use of a file pointer? So a file pointer tells us about the current location in the file where we are working. So a file pointer is like a cursor, which will tell us about the current location where we are working in the file. So to work with a file pointer, we have two functions for each pointer. That is, we have a sigg and tellg function for the get pointer. And for the put pointer, we have sigp and tellp function. So sigg function or sigp function is used for changing the location of the get pointer. So to change the location of a get pointer, we will use the sigg function. But in this question, we are using the tellg function. So a tellg function is used for getting the current location of the get pointer. So to get the current location that where we are working, we will use this tellg function and this function is used in this question. So in this question, we have the get pointer and we are using the tell g function for getting the current location of the get pointer. Second thing is size of function and this function will tell us about the size of this uh, object. Now the size of object is same as the size of the respective class. Hence size of C is the size of this class. Now the size of this class is the addition of the variables size of this class. So the first variable is integer. And the size of integer is 2. Then we have a character array whose size is 20. So the size here is 20. And total size of this uh, class or this object is 22. So hence, uh, object of this class will have size 22. Now in this main function, after opening the file, that is the clients.dat file, we have created an object of this clients class. Then we have read the first object of this file. Now suppose our file is like this. This is our file that is clients.dat and initially when the file is opened, our get pointer is at the beginning. That is the zeroth location because whenever a file is opened, the get pointer or the put pointer will be at the beginning of the file. So here we have the get pointer here. Then after reading the first object, we have read the 22 bytes. Why? Because the size of this object is 22. Therefore, first 22 bytes of the file is read. Hence, after execution of the this first statement, 22 bytes are read. That is the first block of this file is read. After this, 
the second object is red therefore the next 22 bytes are red hence we have this much data red in the second statement then in the third statement we are reading the third object of the file therefore the third object is red hence another 22 bytes are read in this statement so this means after this statement a total of 66 bytes are read from the clients.dat file so this means that the current location of our get pointer is here that is at the 66 location after this we have integer pos is equal to cf.telg divided by size of c now size of c is 22 and tell g will tell the current location of the get pointer that is 66 so current location of get pointer is 66 and the size of c is 22 so we have pos is equal to 3 hence we have the value of pos is equal to 3 and then we have output as present record and this colon is equal to pos now pos is equal to 3 therefore the output is this so here we have the output of this question thanks for watching